Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 49ers release Arik Armstead, re-sign quarterback and other moves. The San Francisco 49ers announced that the team has released DL Arik Armstead. In addition, the team has re-signed QB Brandon Allen to a one-year deal, signed OL Colton McKivitz to a one-year extension through the 2025 season and signed S. George Odom to a two-year extension through the 2026 season. Armstead, 6-7, 290, was originally drafted as the 17th overall selection by the 49ers in the 2015 NFL Draft. Throughout his nine-year career, 2015-24, with San Francisco, Armstead appeared in 116 games, 97 starts, and registered 302 tackles, 33.5 sacks, six passes defensed, three forced fumbles and one fumble recovery. He also started in all 12 of his playoff appearances, registering 38 tackles, 8.0 sacks, one forced fumble and one fumble recovery. Armstead's 8.0 sacks in the postseason are the second most in franchise history. In 2023, Armstead started in 12 games and registered 27 tackles and 5.0 sacks. He also started all three postseason contests, registering 11 tackles, 1.0 sack and one fumble recovery. For the fourth consecutive season, Armstead was recognized as the team's nominee for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award presented by Nationwide. Armstead's work with his foundation, the Armstead Academic Project, has helped raise over $2 million to support Sacramento and Bay Area youth in need of comprehensive academic support. A 30-year-old native of Sacramento, California, Armstead attended the University of Oregon. In 39 games with the Ducks, he finished with 87 tackles, for sacks, 10.0 tackles for loss, two fumble recoveries, one forced fumble and two passes defensed. As a junior in 2014, Armstead earned honorable mention all Pac-12 honors as he played in 13 games and registered 46 tackles, 2.5 sacks, 5.5 tackles for loss, two fumble recoveries and one forced fumble. Allen, 6-2, 209, was originally drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars in the sixth round, 201st overall, of the 2016 NFL Draft. Throughout his eight-year NFL career with the Jaguars, 2016, Los Angeles Rams, 2017-18, Denver Broncos, 2019, Cincinnati Bengals, 2020-2022, and San Francisco 49ers, 2023, he has appeared in 15 games, 9 starts, and completed 149 of his 263 passing attempts for 1,611 yards and 10 touchdowns. Allen spent the entirety of the 2023 season on San Francisco's active roster after signing with the team as a free agent. Cowboys leaving door open for Ezekiel Elliott reunion the Dallas Cowboys might consider bringing back Ezekiel Elliott to bolster their running back depth after striking out in free agency. The Cowboys cut Elliott last season in a cap-saving move. But Dallas finds itself with a significant need at the running back position. Tony Pollard took over as the lead back for Elliott last season but bolted for the Tennessee Titans in free agency. Deuce Vaughn and Hunter Lupke are the only running backs the Cowboys currently have under contract for next season. That opens the door for Elliott, who played last season with the New England Patriots. He wasn't overly impressive in his first season away from Dallas, but could still be part of a running back committee. Elliott rushed for 642 yards on 184 carries, a 3.5 yards per carry average. He also added 51 receptions for 313 yards. Patrick Walker, a staff writer for DallasCowboys.com, suggested on Wednesday, March 13, that a reunion with Elliott is not off the table. I wouldn't rule out a possible reunion with Ezekiel Elliott, and then also drafting an RB to tandem, Walker wrote on X, his relationship with the Cowboys is still positive and the dialogue has remained open. 
Elliott is number three on the Cowboys' all-time rushing yards list with 8,262 yards. It was a tough breakup last season between Elliott and the Cowboys after seven seasons. But it was fairly amicable. Zeke's impact and influence is seared into the Cowboys franchise in a very special and indelible way, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said after Elliott's release. He has been a consummate professional and leader that set a tone in our locker room, on the practice field, and in the huddle. Zeke defined what a great teammate should be, and anyone that has ever played a team sport would be lucky to have a teammate like Zeke and be much better for it. Elliott is also best friends with Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott. The two have remained close despite Elliott's departure from Dallas. Prescott would surely welcome him back with open arms. That's like my little brother, a best friend obviously, Prescott said last season as the Cowboys prepared to take on Elliott and the Patriots. We came into this thing together and grew on the field and off the field. It was awesome. Obviously, it was unfortunate for him to go play for another team, but it's part of this business. We learned that pretty quick and seeing it when we had to part, it's part of it. Happy for him, always pulling for him. Just signing Elliot won't be enough for the Cowboys. They'll need some additional bodies in the backfield, whether that's through the draft or remaining free agents. Former Packer running back A.J. Dillon is on the Cowboys' radar. However, Dallas is not the only team vying for his services. As the Packers have rebuilt their RB room, free agent RB A.J. Dillon has several options outside GB, with sources saying he's looking at the Giants, Colts and Cowboys, NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reported on March 13. Dillian isn't the sexiest free agent addition, but he's been reliable over the past three seasons. He has missed just two games over that span. Dillian rushed for 613 yards and a pair of scores last season in Green Bay. Cowboys breaking, Dillian looking at signing with Dallas? The Dallas Cowboys have been patient, to say the least, as NFL free agency has seen most of the top running backs, including their own Tony Pollard, to Tennessee, sign elsewhere. But somebody has to end up playing running back here. So how about A.J. Dillon? Green Bay Packers running back Dillon fits the bill in an assortment of ways. He's a power back. And maybe he will come at a comfort point in price. It's an idea for now born of an NFL Network report on Wednesday morning that has Dylan looking at signing with Dallas, with the Colts and Giants also apparently in his sights. The game of musical chairs at the position has Josh Jacobs leaving the Raiders for the Packers, Derrick Henry leaving the Titans for the Ravens, Saquon Barkley leaving the Giants for the Eagles, and Aaron Jones, who shared time in Green Bay with Dylan, leaving for Minnesota. Austin Eckler, Washington, DeAndre Swift, Chicago, Joe Mixon, Houston, and Zach Moss, Bengals, are also off the board. So, to Dylan. He does not generate the big play, as he posted below average marks for acceleration at the NFL Scouting Combine and has never run for more than a 40 yard gain. But at 6 0, 247 pounds, he could complement the Texas Coast offense with physicality. Does he score touchdowns? He only managed two this past season, the writing on the wall for his Packers tenure, but managed 12 over the two years prior. Dylan's game isn't in third down responsibilities, but he does enough as a receiver and blocker to be playable when necessary. Additionally, he has just three fumbles on his 683 career touches, providing an extra layer of security. Projected to earn a two-year deal worth a total of $8 million by Pro Football Focus, Dylan wouldn't break the bank. Though that's the same number that Dallas found too pricey on Moss. As a helper in a hypothetical committee with a speed back Dallas could get in the NFL draft? Dylan is looking at the Cowboys, so they surely are looking in return.